Good evening, kids, parents, just teachers. Welcome back to the Rook and Game course. In the next six lessons, we're going to talk about the Rook against the two pawns. In this position number one, White can win very easily because the King is in front of the pawns. And if the pawns move forward, King will go in between them and then easily capture them. So let's see, white can play rook d4 to stop the black king moving forward. The other option is rook a8 and then check from the back. We can see both of the solutions. So rook a4, king goes to g5. We can play here king f2, right? In king d3, we're trying to get to f4. If you get to f4, then, uh, then we have a good chance to, to capture those pawns. But what happens if the pawn plays um, h3? Then we come back and we go in between the, the pawns. King h4, look, we're going to force that situation. Rook b4, there's nothing black can do. If black pushes the pawn to h2, we play king g2, we capture the pawn. If black goes back, we simply play king g3. And the next move is rook g4, rook h4, and we capture both of the pawns. Let's see rook a8 move. Right from this position, uh, rook a8, nice, right? We can do it from from the back, right? Check, check again, I'm sorry, rook h8, and nothing to do, right? Nothing to do uh, in this position. Because uh, if you push the pawns forward again, like h3, we play this move. If you push g3, then you play king h3, and you win both, again, both of the pawns, right? You stop the Okay, I will see you in the position number two. Bye-bye.